Yeah, I'm talking to you. Get over here. I said, get over here. Better jump. <laughs> you know, they say that money is the root of all evil. <laughs> oh, no wonder I love it so much.
Hello everybody, it's me, obviously, um, I don't really have a certain topic I want to talk about, but I want to talk about, actually, yeah, I, I do have something to talk about, excellent, and perfection, with progress, there comes boundaries, and limitations, and, you know, settling, and whatnot, but you can't settle, Right. Let's say this as an easy way for people that don't know. You can be natural or unnatural. I think you would obviously know that nowadays with TikTok and all the steroid shit you see on there nowadays. But realistically, there's always limitations to how far you can go, and anything, right? A job, the gym an art piece, you know, well, maybe not art, art is probably limitless, you know, but when you reach a point in your life where you cannot progress anymore, will you genuinely know that? Probably not. And will you ever reach that? Probably not. I don't think, I don't think I'll ever reach my natural potential, right? If I don't think I'd ever have to go you know, maybe if I'm only making a pound of muscle per year, because that's how it is for, like, Jesse James West, apparently, and shit, which would really suck. So, but you can't put boundaries, I mean, you can't put limitations on yourself to your goals, right? If your goal in life is to be a millionaire, let's say you reach a million dollars. What's after that? What's after that? Is that it? Is that your limit? Is that all you're gonna go to? You're like, okay, I'm fulfilled now, I'm done. No. You're gonna be like, well, I wanna be a multi-millionaire now. You get 10 million? I wanna be, whatever. There's always more. And that's the thing that we need to do nowadays is we need to progress for more. And what I recommend you want, I recommend what you want, what you should do to kind of help yourself is strive for small goals and big goals and lifetime goals. Small goals will be just like, hey, um, I need to get, I'm going to put this in gym perspective because I think that's kind of the easiest kind of way to know it. I don't do this necessarily all the time, which I probably should, but it's like, I want to, I want to do 10 reps of this set, right? And I get a, I'm not a failure, but I failed that goal, but I can't be like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm done now. I'm done. That's it. No, I failed that. I can continue for more, right? But let's say I got 10 reps. Okay, next set, I'm gonna try to go for 12, you know? And then a big goal would be such as like, one day I wanna win my first ever competition in bodybuilding or powerlifting. And then a lifetime goal would be like, I wanna be the biggest man of all time. The most pleasing, aesthetically, mass, you know, biggest out there. You know, I wanna be the best of all time. That is a lifetime goal. That you might not ever complete, but that's a goal that you can't reach in the first in the first five years of lifting. Maybe not even twenty, not even thirty. But you can try to achieve it. And even then, if you actually reach that, if you actually got that, and you fully reach the best looking, aesthetically pleasing, biggest man of all time, you probably still wouldn't think that, right? You probably still wouldn't think you're as big as you are or as successful as you are. You know, there's people who are the richest people ever that might have, that might have, you know, wanted to reach that, but do they think, you know, they're fulfilled and how rich they are? Probably fucking not. Bill Gates probably wants to be fucking richer. I don't think he's actually the richest person of all time or ever, or right now even, but you know. Damn, dickhead, I'm trying to turn in, bro. Slow the fuck down. I hate when people are fucking driving behind me and they're super close when I'm trying to turn in my house. The fuck was that? I look like a little fucking dinosaur. Sorry. But you can't put limitations on yourself, but you can have goals you can reach. And when you reach them, strive for more, right? What, like, let's say you win your first competition. Well, try to win another one. Try to win another five more. Try to win as many as you can. Because at the end of the day, 
Do I only have one life? And no one gets out of it alive. Strive for more always. Because at the end of the day, if you don't try to strive for anything and you're just going to rot away into nothingness and, you know, you won't be anything in history, what kind of life is that, right? I, I know not everybody wants to be in the, like, world record books or be in the history books or be up there with the legends, you know? And that's some people. But me, I want to be the best of all time. You know? I will do anything to reach that. Because I am a goal achiever. I don't want to be normal. I don't want to even be one of the best. I want to be the fucking best. And that's when it comes to sacrifices. Are you willing to make sacrifices to achieve your goals? Are you willing to not go to that party just so you can hit the fucking gym? Are you willing to not go... You know, on that vacation, just so you can work a little bit harder on your business. Now, you can work on your business away, but are you willing to not take vacation days from work just to make a little bit more money and work a little extra on the side by doing DoorDash or something if you need money? Are you willing to do that? Or are you going to spend your time? Are you going to spend your time being lousy, lazy, and just rot? Like I've said in the past, it's like watching a Rocky movie, right? No one would watch the Rocky movie if it was all about a guy who just sat there and cried because he knew he wasn't going to win a match. You know, yeah, some of it is unrealistic, right? With, you know, plot armor and shit, but... If Rocky never decided to pick up the gloves again and he just watched TV, drank beer, and just sat in his money in his house all day and did nothing, you wouldn't have watched that. So why would you live through it? If you are unhappy watching a movie that's exactly like your life, why the fuck would you not change that? And I know that's not easy to just change your lifestyle and get up and go at it you know but when it comes down to it man you gotta do what's best for you because no one's gonna have your back at the end of the day sure you might have people that will support you maybe give you extra funds you know have your back like you got this man and just uplift you but if you don't and you're all fucking alone without a team you got to do something. You got to find your motivator, right? And it's all about discipline. But motivation is extremely helpful. So find something in your fucking head that allows you to find that mm, find that uplifting moment that will guide you forward. Cuz I know at the end of the day, I was skinny as fuck. So I'm not going to stop working. I don't want to be skinny again. And I know at the end of the day, if I sat and did nothing and just became average, people would look at me as a plain average man. And no man wants to just be average. Let's be honest. You might want to settle, have a family, and just work a nine to five your whole life. But you don't genuinely want to do that. You want to do your goals. You know, some people want to climb a fucking mountain. Mount Everest. Climb Mount Everest. Do it. Do whatever your fucking heart tells you. Now, my heart and my fucking anus is telling me to go take a shit. Not my heart. If my heart was telling me to go take a shit, that'd probably be pretty bad. But I gotta go take a shit, y'all. So, I hope you have a good rest of your day. I hope this helps you with, you know, motivation and whatnot. Please, you... Looking back on my videos, my last mainly, I think, four videos, three, four videos, look back on them and just kind of realize what I'm saying. I'm not saying some bullshit just to say bullshit. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying this just because I'm genuinely saying this because it's something we all need to work on. 
And I'm telling this for myself also because I might watch these videos in a couple of days when I'm like down or something at the end of the video because I know I leave these messages and I'll be like, okay, I can use my own words and guide myself. So please, you come back to these videos, you don't even have to watch the workouts. Just watch this part, please. Okay, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace out.